Hi, I'm Dr. Arnold David Hausman, and this is the YouTube version of Vital Signs, a public service program sponsored by Phelps Memorial Hospital. With me today, I have Dr. Abraham Middleman. Dr. Middleman is an associate professor of medicine and oncology and immunology and microbiology at the New York uh, Medical College. And we're talking about breast cancer. What's the truth about breast cancer? Breast cancer has been in the news a lot lately, especially in terms of what a person, a woman should be doing for self-examination uh, and for mammography. Uh, the, the, the controversy is that they shouldn't be doing that at all. How do you feel about that? So, I mean, recently, as you recall, there was a recommendation that women between the ages of 40 and 50 should not be doing mammograms. And in fact, also recommendation that self-examination just increases anxiety. Uh, I think that uh, mammograms between the ages of 40 and 50 are extremely important. The American Cancer Society supports it. All the oncological societies support it. So I think that the panel that came out recommending against doing mammograms between the ages of 40 and 50 was uh, looking at the monetary issues. But I think from a healthcare point of view and prevention point of view, self-examination, number one and most important thing to do. Number two, the mammograms, extremely important to do. So if a patient finds something in the breast or reaches the age of 40, she should have a first mammogram. If they find something in the breast, they definitely should be going for a mammogram and pursuing that abnormality in the breast, no matter what a physician says. So the, the first thing that happens clearly is that a woman examines herself, and that should probably be as soon as she starts developing breasts. She should know That's what right. her breasts feel like. The woman is going to be the first person to detect a change in herself, right. for sure. We'd prefer it, frankly, if we found it on a mammogram before it's palpable. But if, you, if a woman examines herself and she finds something, it might be minuscule. It might be small enough so that somebody else may not be able to feel it themselves. What should she do about that? She's certain that there's something different. What's the next thing that she should do? So the next thing she should do is she should go to her physician. May, he may or may not be able to feel this. Uh, he should order a mammogram, and if the mammogram is completely negative, she should uh, tell him that she would like an ultrasound, although he may recommend an ultrasound. If it's still negative on the ultrasound and she still feels an abnormality in the breast, one can pursue an MRI with difficulties. But more important is if something is in the breast and it's not showing on a mammogram, it's not showing on an ultrasound, and she feels it in the breast and a surgeon can put his finger on the area or a small spot in the breast. So the it surgeon can also feel it. Yes. So if, if the patient feels it, all examinations are benign, but the surgeon can also feel it, that should be removed. Should be removed. Okay. Don't wait six months. We would rather get it removed less, you know, as soon as it's being palpated. However, if the surgeon doesn't feel it, the mammograms and ultrasounds are negative, she still feels uncomfortable, and all the studies, as I said, are negative, then she should come back in six, in six months to be re-evaluated. Now, in the case where nothing is palpable by anybody else but the patient herself, and nothing shows up on any of the imaging studies, is there a downside to waiting the six months, or we should be able to still catch this disease early enough to, that's to affect a cure? That is exactly right. And that's the take home message, is that we live in an it's era where we have the tools to detect this disease early enough to actually cure it without major deforming surgery. Absolutely. Most important. Get it checked out. Get it checked out. And we've got one minute left. So examine yourself regularly. If you find something that you find suspicious, make sure that you get someone else to, to confirm or deny the presence. If that requires imaging studies such as uh, a, a mammogram or ultrasonography or even an MRI, pursue it. The MRIs will often not be covered by your insurance company if there's nothing that's obvious or if you don't have one of the accepted uh, indications for an MRI, those usually being some genetic abnormality or family history. But it might sometimes be worth your, your while. If you believe that you've got something, don't let somebody try to convince you that you don't. Uh, take these messages home. You can see the whole show online uh, at Vital Signs uh, by looking at the Phelps Memorial site or by uh, looking at Vital Signs and Arno D. Hausman, MD.